I do think that the pegboard looks good and it definitely is a good place to store all the gear but I've also realized that this and this shelf is not enough for all the things that I have here in the office. So I'm thinking that we're gonna put in another one that's gonna go from here all the way to here. good one two three levels and I'm thinking that we're gonna keep three levels all the way through so we can get a little bit more storage space over here as well because that is very much needed we also got to spray paint these black so that it matches with these because the wooden color doesn't really fit in here in the office I'm not using any kind of special spray paint or anything like that. This is just a regular can that you can buy on any kind of hardware store in, I think, anywhere in the world. I don't really know, but this is matte black or black matte. That's gonna be a Swedish word of today. Svart is matt. No. <laughs> Svart is black. I think that one can is gonna cover approximately one and a half boards. So if you got a lot of boards, you need a lot of cans. I kind of want to have a nice, clean lay, right? Mm, looks good, feels good. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all done. These are just regular storage shelves. So in Swedish, that would be förvaringshylla, English shelf unit. I would say storage shelf, but I guess anything works. And the reason that I bought them is that I think they suit the whole like industrial look that I want to have. I mean, this is a perfect match with the color on the walls, basically. I don't know, but it kind of feels more symmetrical than it did before with having these like one, two, three. I think it looks good. I think that we're gonna remove this and then we're gonna expand this pegboard so that it gets a little bit longer to this side because there's gonna be a whole lot of stuff that is gonna be going up on this wall. As for the RC car, I'm thinking that it's probably gonna be best to have it somewhere around here because we've got some dead space right here that we can use. A little bit too long. Now we have the RC car easily accessible whenever I wanna go out and drive a little bit of RC. And I don't know about you, but I think that this area would be great to have another pegboard with the charger for the RC batteries. I think we're gonna put up another pegboard right here. Kind of a fun fact, I ordered a pair of these batteries from Germany but they didn't arrive in like three weeks and I really wanted to make the video with the RC car. And then I ordered another pair from a store here in Sweden and th those arrived super fast, but then I also forgot about these batteries that I actually ordered 
to begin with. So now I have two pair of batteries for the RC car. I guess you can say that uh, I have infinite driving. Also, you want to know the most annoying thing? I did not expect this to have the batteries like this upside down when I attach this to the pegboard. But it was too much of a hassle, so I'm not going to do it again. This will just have to do. And voila, that looks good. Like the RC car, batteries, charger, controller. And I'm also really eager to get this part fixed because I just have the insulation and the plastic and I haven't really gotten around to put a drywall here. But I'm thinking that maybe we can take like a plywood and then paint that gray and then cover this and cut away the plastic. That's gonna look good. Another thing that has bugged me a whole lot in my videos is that this door, <laughs> this door is white. So I think that we're gonna try to color this the same color as we have on the walls so that it blends in a lot more. Oh, crap. <laughs> Good thing I have another one. 107 centimeters, 16. Huh. <laughs> I've always liked these kind of pencils because I think it looks so cool when you're sharpening them with a knife. It makes you look like you know what you're doing, right? Hello, my name is Peter. I am a hobby carpenter doing uh, things on my own. Perfetto. That looks so much better than it did before. Good job! I don't think this color is actually meant to be painted on doors, but I think it's gonna work. Well done! Current office status is chaos, but we're gonna clean this up and it's gonna look good very soon. So I've been getting a lot of questions from you on which kind of drawers these are. And these are actually like Stanley Black & Decker, I think, like Stanley drawers. And I just drilled a couple of holes and attached them to the MDF board to make them as like storage units for all my cables, uh, cages, and whatever it is that I've got here in the office. And since they work so incredibly well, I actually went out and bought a couple more of these so that I can have two more on each side here and here because I think that's going to be perfect since this area is basically like work area where I do a top down shot and fix with things. Ugh, it is so hot here in the office. I don't know if you can see it, but like I'm super sweaty and it's like it's super sticky in here, but Almost done. Perfect. Now we can store even more things here in the drawers. Let me give you a real tour. It feels much better with this setup right now because now we have this pegboard, this shelf, and then this pegboard, this shelf, and then over here we have that pegboard. So I can have much more stuff here in the office without it taking up too much space. So that's good. And I don't know if I told you, but I actually built this studio from scratch all by myself. But uh, yeah, that story is probably gonna be for another video. If you wanna hear that story, do drop a comment down below. And uh, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, that'd be highly appreciated. It's gonna be right down here, and uh, I would love to see you in the next video. So, uh, oh, Peter from Sweden, saying goodbye.